Reid. The onus very much on Liverpool to go for the victory here and cut the gap. A draw would suit the Everton court. And a challenge makes up between Lawrence and Grimala. And Lawrence somehow has redeemed it because Richardson couldn't recover his balance when the goal was gaping. Now, I wonder here whether the concern in protecting the goalkeeper's injury led to this extraordinary episode. Grobelaar came, Lawrenson touched it, Richardson was down, it seemed a certain goal for Everton, but Lawrenson wrapped his foot round the ball and got it to safety. Well, Mark Lawrenson had to make up so much ground and now it's the hands that give Grobelaar cause for concern. Poynton, and uh, it certainly wasn't deliberate by Lee. And it is Neil Poynton to take the free kick. And Hansen who concedes the corner. Pat Van den Hau was steaming in behind the Liverpool captain. It might just pay Everton to hang the ball in close to Grobelaar. And that's Sharp. Graham Sharp, who scored the winner in that very goal in this fixture last season. And the Everton striker climbed well there. Read again. It's usually the players born on Merseyside who feel this match even more keenly than the others, if that's possible. Players like Sammy Lee and uh, Steve McMahon, who, of course, began his career with Everton. And the referee, Joe Worrell, experienced enough to take the nature of the fixture into account when ruling on the challenges. But he didn't like the way McMahon went in then. It'll reach Trevor Stephen. The referee was running back to the middle thinking it was a goal. But it's a corner, it's the side netting. The roar from this side of the ground stayed uh, really in the throat. Grobelaar came and was nowhere near it. Stephen. it was surely that and it ends with a drop ball because that was the object of the attentions of players from both sides and it's no time for a risk to be taken by an Everton defender Poynton was well aware of that with half time beckoning of a goalless first half. Liverpool, it seemed, over-concerned about Bruce Grobelaar's fitness, and they have defended rather tentatively in front of the goalkeeper. And Everton will feel that they should have had a penalty when Kevin Richardson was sent crashing when the ball was rolling towards the Liverpool goal line. But Mark Lawrenson got back and sent Richardson down as he did so to get the ball clear. Stevens. 
Stephen determined not to be caught in possession, but in too much of a hurry. It's tackle after tackle rather than pass after pass. But Reid gets the better of Hansen. Possibilities here for Everton. Lineker's in the middle. So to his sharp and Richardson. It was a genuine opportunity for Everton. Superbly created for Richardson by Peter Reid. And he knows the significance of the miss. Chances here, few and far between. But Everton had players over here, thanks to the enterprise of Peter Reid. And Richardson, who has the goal sense to get into scoring positions, but on this occasion, not the technique to finish it. Good control from Sharp, and good awareness to Stevens galloped outside Trevor Stephen, who used him as a decoy. Reed. Jackson is outside. Southall a little slow coming, but you can't fool the goalkeeper when he comes up with the ball. But as Craig Johnston was away here, Southall seemed to hesitate, then he went, and then he got it. Lineker and Reed with a good angle here for a cross if he can uh, get the better of Gillespie Richardson and Alan Harper Ratcliffe joining in and Grubble oh! Deflected slightly, but Kevin Ratcliffe, who's only ever scored one league goal in his life, comes up with one here in a Merseyside derby that he'll never forget, and Grobola will want to forget, but will be haunted. Sixteen minutes left, and Southall at the other end has to be alive. Well, Grubbala went down, he seemed to have the ball, and it rolled out of his grasp. And that was a signal for Kevin Ratcliffe to leap into the air. And it's a sea of blue around Anfield. McDonald and Rush gets the better of Southall, but not the third time. Having twice just touched the ball away from the goalkeeper's grasp. Neville Southall had to come. Rush pilfered the ball once, then twice, but finally he snaked out an arm, did Southall. Oh, Whelan. Beglin, Sharp wins it back. It's Everton voices that you can hear at Anfield now. Pointed. What can Liverpool muster? They're staring defeat in the face on their own ground against the old enemy. But they've still got Ian Rush. And Everton are grateful that they've got Southall. The rush cutting edge is still sharp. And he nicked the ball away then. But Van den Howe was back to block. But it still needed some brave work here from Southall. Can it be 
two for Everton. It is a personal landmark for Gary Lineker amidst the passion of a Merseyside derby. He's achieved 30 goals in a season in club football for the first time. And he may well have put it beyond Liverpool's redress this time. In many ways, a definitive Lineker goal. Speed of thought and of movement. And Grobelaar this time left with no chance at all.